2025 Mercedes AMG GT Coupe. Starting at $115 EST. Highs. Powerful V8S, precise handling, new four cylinder GT43 model offers similar thrills for hopefully less money. Lows. Lofty pricing, fussy, infotainment controls, comically tiny rear seats. Verdict. The revived GT Coupe still delivers a sublime luxury performance driving experience but lacks the raw edge of the previous model. Overview The Mercedes AMG GT Coupe returned for the 2024 model year after a brief hiatus. It's a serious sports car that shares its DNA with the sexy Mercedes AMG SL convertible. The two top GT models pack a twin turbo 4.0 liter V8 and standard all wheel drive. Model year 2025 sees the lineup expand by one with the introduction of the Mercedes AMG GT43 variant. This is as close as the GT Coupe lineup gets to a base version. Powered by a turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder, good for 416 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque, it's down on power compared to the 469 HP GT55 and the 577 HP GT63. Unlike the V8 models, however, the GT43 comes exclusively with rear-wheel drive, which, paired with an anticipated lighter overall weight, should alter its dynamic personality in intriguing ways. Otherwise, the GT Coupe lineup retains its gentleman's GT status by artfully blending the attributes of an all-out performance sports car with a well-appointed luxury interior, modern tech, and a yet stiff construction rich in aluminum, steel, magnesium, and fiber composites. An advanced hydraulic anti-roll system and rear-wheel steering help the chassis adapt to constantly changing driving demands and road conditions, as well as give it the moves to chase down most any Porsche 911 that dares to challenge it. What's new for 2025? Redesigned for 2024, the big news for 2025 is the addition of two new models, an entry-level GT43 with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine and rear-wheel drive, and a range-topping GT63 SE performance plug-in hybrid with 805 horsepower. Pricing and which one to buy The price of the 2025 Mercedes-AMG GT Coupe is expected to start around $115 and go up to $200 depending on the trim and options. GT43 $115,000 EST GT55 $137,000 EST GT63 $178,000 EST GT63 SE Performance $200,000 EST Pricing for the 2025 models isn't solidified yet but we don't expect the GT55 and GT63 to move too far past their 2024 pricing. The GT43 is new for 2025, but using the Mercedes-AMG GT43 sedan and SL43 as rough indicators, and considering it lacks all-wheel drive, we estimate it will start around $115,000. The new plug-in hybrid GT63 SE performance will undoubtedly be the most expensive of the bunch. While none of the GT Quartet can be considered inexpensive, the pricing schedule is on PAR with its chief rival, the Porsche 911. Numerous personalization options are on offer, including the AMG Chrome package, additional chrome on the front fascia, front mudguards and side sill trims, the AMG Night package, gloss black front splitter, side sill trims, and mirror caps and the aero package that brings a fixed AMG rear wing, a larger rear diffuser, and revised air intakes, all finished in gloss black. Regardless, a racy car like this one is best enjoyed with plenty of power on tap, and for that reason, we prefer the GT63. Engine, Transmission and Performance The 416 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder in the new 4 2025 GT43 features a 48-volt hybrid starter-slash-generator and an electric exhaust gas turbocharger. The 48-volt electrical system keeps the turbo on spool, shortening the delay between throttle application and when exhaust gases take over to create maximum boost. 
the GT55 and GT63 models pulse with the power of Mercedes twin turbo 4.0 liter V8 power plant rated for 469 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque in the GT55, 577 horses and 590 pound feet of torque in the GT63. The GT63 SE performance adds an electric motor to the mix to boost combined horsepower to 805. All models use a 9-speed automatic transmission that replaces the typical torque converter setup with a clutch, the design is said to reduce weight and optimize response to accelerator input. The all-wheel drive GT55 and GT63 have the capability to route 100% of engine output to the rear wheels, and all three use an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential. Rear wheel steering works to keep the GT on its toes but during our first drive of the GT63 we found the GT's overall demeanor not quite as entertaining as the previous generation model. For navigating tricky driveway entrances and speed bumps, the AMG GT's optional nose lift system pops the front end up by 1.2 inches. We have spotted test mules for the GT Coupe donning charging ports that would indicate Mercedes is developing a more powerful plug-in hybrid model that could meet or beat the former 720 HP Black Series output. 060 MPH times. Mercedes AMG claims the new GT43 will hit 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, while the GT63 is projected to do the same in just 3.0 seconds. Mercedes AMG says the GT63 SE performance model is capable of 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds. Based on previous experience with the SL43 and SL63 convertibles, it's likely we can shave a tenth or two off each of these figures in C/D testing. Fuel economy and real-world MPG. The EPA estimates that the GT55 and GT63 models will deliver 13 mpg city and 20 mpg highway. The GT43 hasn't been rated yet, but we expect it to land in the vicinity of the 20 mpg city and 27 mpg highway EPA ratings of its Mercedes-AMG SL43 sibling that shares a slightly detuned version of the same engine. When we get a chance we'll take the GT Coupe on our 75 mph real-world highway fuel economy test and we'll update this story with test results. For more information about the GT Coupe's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort and Cargo Part of the new GT's appeal is its slightly more spacious interior and improved outward visibility. Standard sport seats thread the needle between comfort and support while available AMG sport seats offer increased lateral support while three massage programs provide relief on long drives. A variety of Napa leather upholstery choices is on tap including a diamond quilted pattern and leather microfiber blend. Yes, the new GT offers rear seating, but the space is tight like that in a Porsche 911, and best saved for emergency use or excess luggage. In a serious example of understatement, Mercedes states that the rear seats are suitable for occupants less than 5 feet tall. The powered rear hatch is hands-free, and the cargo area it opens to can handle two golf bags or 23.8 cubic feet of cargo. Infotainment and Connectivity An 11.9-inch infotainment touchscreen is standard on all AMG GT coupes but some users may find its complex menu system frustrating. All models come with a wireless phone smartphone charging pad standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a Burmester stereo system. An optional high-end Burmester 3D surround sound system with 15 speakers and 1,170 watts is available. Safety and Driver Assistance Features A host of driver assistance features will be offered, but right now it's unclear which will be standard and which will be optional. For more information about the GT Coupe's crash test results, Visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites. Key safety features are likely to include Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection Standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist Available adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature Warranty and maintenance coverage Mercedes-AMG's standard warranty package is the least special thing about its cars, 
and it covers a basic 4 year 50 mile period with no frills or extras. The GT Coupe's closest rival, the Porsche 911 Turbo, offers a complementary scheduled maintenance program whereas the AMG does not. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. No complementary scheduled maintenance.